everybody, Cheryl here. I was tagged in a video by Glam Beauty 101. I have all her questions here. It was a get to know the YouTuber tag. <laughs> so um, I'm going to attempt this now and we'll see how I do. I don't know. Um, She's got a couple questions here, and I have her questions here. Number one, um, what is your real name? Well, most of you know my real name is Cheryl, so that was easy. Um, what is your age? Um, my age is, let's just say I hit 40 and leave it at that. <laughs> so um, that's my age. Um the third question, um, are you single, married, divorced? And if you are married, for how long? Um, yeah, I'm married. I'm married. Um, this is actually my second marriage. And we've been married for 10 years um, in July. Um, we've been together for 14 years, but married for 10. So, um that's for how long? Uh, do you have kids? Yes, I do. I have three boys. Um, and he has three girls, but his girls are with a previous um, marriage. So uh, I just have the three boys. Um, and the next question, how long have you been on YouTube? And do you have any other channel? Um, I started my YouTube channel, um, well, it wasn't really I started it. I did a few videos back in 2013. I did delete all those videos because I did not like those videos, so they're gone. Um, so I started back then, um, but I kind of came back this last, um, I think it was July, beginning, or end of July. So that's when I came back. So, um, and no, I don't have any other YouTube channel. Um, what does your username mean? Um, my username is CQ Unique Nail Creations. And the C, of course, means Cheryl. And the Q is for my last name. And Unique Nail Creations is the name of my um, company that I had started with my really good friend, um, Raquel. Um, and I just put a CQ in front of me in case she wanted to do a YouTube and put her whatever she wanted in front of Unique Nail Creations for herself. So um, that's what it means. It's uh, the name of um, our little um, company that we started back in 2013. So um, that's my YouTube name and what it means, Unique Nail Creations. <laughs> um what does your username mean? Did I just say that? No. Yeah, I already did that one. What's your channel about? Um, my channel is about um, nails. Um, about, uh, I have, like I said, uh, I have a store and um, so I'm using it for my store. I'm using it also for, um, I'd like to start doing tutorials um, for for nail art and acrylic nails, I need to get a bigger memory card though on my phone before I can start doing tutorials. But um, so yeah, it's about just art, nail art in general, um, glitter mixes. It's about communicating with my subscribers. Um, you know, it's what is it about? That's what it's about. It's about getting to know you guys and you guys, um, yeah, I'm learning from a lot of you people, um, a lot of you other girls and men out there too who do um, nails. And I like to kind of do the same thing. I want to try to show some of my stuff. Like I said, I need to get a bigger memory card before I can do that. <laughs> but for now, it's just whatever it is. That's what it is. Um, I've shown up. I think I've thrown a few fitness things in there too because I'm into fitness as well. So um, let's see here. Number eight, who or what and who inspired you to make videos? Um, 
it's actually an interesting question because um I like I said I did a few videos back in the beginning but I didn't really like them um, but then again it wasn't my goal to really do videos then so um I guess what inspired me and who inspired me was um, Nick, Nikki on Absolute Nails, actually, I watched a lot of her videos on her doing nails, and I thought it was really cool, and I watched a few other people doing nails, and over the last six months, I watched a few people with their glitter mixes and doing swaps, and so I guess, you know, it's, it's a kind of a combination of things, um, I wanted to, to get out there and, and kind of just be a part of this uh, community of people who all like the same same stuff that I like. And I'm going to knock my computer down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know if that's a good enough answer. I mean, it's it's kind of a, like I said, it's a combination. So, a um, whole bunch of stuff. I just wanted to get out there and, and share my love and passion for nail art. So, that's that's what it is um number nine what is the best thing about youtube the best thing for me so far because i'm still kind of new as far as into the community um like i said i started and i believe it was like july um as far as being more proactive in it um the best thing was is i met a lot of awesome people i mean honestly you guys are amazing and i've met a lot of really awesome people um that's the best thing. If I had to name just one, it's you guys. That's the best thing. Um, so that's that. What's the worst thing about YouTube? Um, I really don't think there really is a worst thing about YouTube. Not yet, anyway. Um, so far, YouTube's been pretty fun. I mean, I've, I've met a lot of you guys, um, and it's been good so far. So I really don't have anything to say about worse. There is really no worse. Um, so, um, number 11, what do you wish you had known before starting? Um, I think the thing I wish I would have known the most before starting um, YouTube would have been an easier way to upload videos. Um, it took me a while to figure out how <laughs> to do that. And I actually did a video on that once I figured out how it was the fastest and what was the best way for me. Um, so I think that was probably the thing I wish I would have known a little bit more about um, as far as uploading the videos. So um, do any of your family members or friends know that you have a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. Um, I really don't advertise to my family or friends that I have a YouTube channel. Um, I think my mom knows, but my mom, she doesn't like computers, so she doesn't have one in her house, and she has cursed her cell phone, so that got shut off, so she doesn't, she doesn't like cell phones. She thinks they're evil. <laughs> she still uses a landline, and, um... She really doesn't like computers. So my mom, she knows I have a YouTube channel, but she doesn't watch my videos, which is fine. I mean, that's my mom. Uh, as far as my brothers and sisters, I don't think they know. Um, my friends, uh, as far as close friends, I don't think they know either. I really don't talk about it. Um, basically, you guys are my friends. So you guys know I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so I don't know. Um... Uh, number 13, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, me and my husband actually just had this discussion not too long ago about doing a five-year plan. Um, we're up in Wisconsin right now. Um, we're trying to currently purchase the house that we're in now. Um, it's been a huge, huge, huge struggle with just anything and everything that could happen to go like put a kink in it where you gotta just has gone wrong so um right now we're our five-year plan was we we live in wisconsin he's from 
um, South Beach, Miami area, Homestead. And we wanted to go back down there and stay down there. My father had cancer and I had to take care of him for a few years and we got stuck up in Wisconsin. And I hate to say it, but that was like in 1996 when I got stuck up here. My dad ended up with cancer in 2000 and Two. So from 2002 to 2005, that was my excuse. And we just kind of got stuck. So we're stuck up here. We had, you know, my young, my boys. So we wanted to finish raising the boys here. And currently with our current situation, we're renting the house. And my landlord, um, his wife passed away actually 10 years ago when we moved in here. So we've lived here for 10 years in this particular house and he had passed away um which was really hard on me because he was he was like a father figure to me and they're now selling the house so I've been here for 10 years and um our plan is to try to buy the place and that's what we're currently trying to do and if all goes well our our five-year plan is <laughs> to have the house paid off in five years or have it mostly paid off um, and then sell it or rent it or maybe have my boys take over it or something to that effect. And then what we want to do is move down to Florida, buy a sailboat, get rid of everything we own and go sail the world and live on a sailboat. That's what I want to be in five years. We will see. I don't know <laughs> if it'll happen, but we both love to sail. We both love the ocean. And that's something that we've spent our lives doing in the past. And, you know, we wanted to get a, a schooner and then do like charters or have scuba and teach scuba um, and then charter and take people out and that sort of thing. That's kind of what we're hoping to do in five years. But I don't know. We'll see. That's that's what our five year plan is. So we'll see what happens in five years. But you never know. So anyway, um, <laughs> next question. I'm almost done. Um, she, she says here, okay, what message are you trying to get across in your videos? Um, I guess the message I'm trying to get across in my videos are what my videos happen to be about, I guess. Um, so if I'm doing a nail tutorial, um, I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help them to, to learn better and, um, maybe take from what I have done and maybe do it their way, do it better, prove upon it. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of YouTube is learning from people and watching them and doing things that I know that's what I do. Um, I've learned a lot of things from people and I either try to do, you know, modify it to how I like it or, um, or whatever. I don't know if that's making any sense or if I'm just rambling here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I guess, you know, the message is, is I want to keep it positive. I want to keep us, um, you know, together as a community. Um, the message would be whatever that particular video would be. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess, I don't know if I'm answering this the right way. So I don't know. We're just keeping it positive, um, teaching, learning, communicating, um, doing the best you can do. Um, and you know, not everybody's perfect. We all got to start somewhere. And just because somebody can do their nails and it can look like, wow, doesn't mean, you know, I can, or you can, it takes time. It takes practice. I mean, my goodness. Um, when I first started, I, my nails looked like a hot mess and I was proud of them, but I go back and look at those pictures. It's like, oh, <laughs> so they've gotten better and it's a continued learning thing. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if that answered it. Maybe I went on and said too much. I don't know. Whatever. Um, any advice for new YouTubers like you? And then I'm supposed to tag some YouTubers to do this. So, um, any advice? Okay, this is some of the things that I've learned and I'm trying to improve upon. Um, and I've been 
you know, this is some stuff that I've improved upon since I've noticed some of my other videos is um, be sure to, um, how would I say this? Um, like, like when you're doing videos and stuff, um, advice would be, gosh, there's a lot of things. I don't even know where to start, but, uh, like if you learn somebody for, 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 I don't know, just, I'll try to make it easy. Like if you learn a nail design, um, or if you learn how to do something from somebody, you know, shout their name out and, you know, give them props. Um, make sure that, um, oh, geez, my brain's drawing a blank. It's the blonde leaking into my brain, I think. Uh, my brain is, I don't, I just lost my whole train of thought. Um, so I guess uh, advice to new YouTubers, um, just do your videos. Um, make sure that they're as clear as you can get them. I know that was one of my problems with my first videos where they were a little fuzzy. Um, I know nobody really wants to look at fuzzy videos or like really hazed over videos. Um, try to, um, you know, express yourself, um, explain what you're doing, um, communicate with your subscribers because if it wasn't, if it's, if it wasn't for your subscribers, you would not be doing YouTube videos because, um, it's, your subscribers are everything and just, you know, show them how much they're appreciated because I appreciate all you guys. You guys, if it wasn't for, for my subscribers, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be watching this video right now if it wasn't for you guys. Um, so definitely let your subscribers know how much you appreciate them. That's some good advice. Um, and, and like I said in my first little comment about this, if you, you know, if, if you learn something from one of your subscribers, like how to, um, I don't know, do like a, a nail art design, just any, any nail art design, just make sure you call their name out and say, Hey, guess what? This is my version of so-and-so. Um, how do you like it? You know, um, you know, that sort of stuff. So share the love, be nice, try to, um, communicate and try to make sure your videos are as clear as you can get them. I do know some of you, um, don't have like the clearer pictures and I don't know, are my pictures clear? I, I mean, they're as clear as I can get them. So, um, but yeah, my first one was with an older webcam and it was fuzzy and I was trying to show stuff and you couldn't see it. It was awful. So, um, I guess that's it. So I'm going to tag a few people in here. Um, I will throw some names up. Um, I'm going to tag two, um, um, two, let's see. We got some new girls. I'm going to throw some names here. Um, I'm going to tag Nail Oracle. She's a new girl. She's new out there. I love her to death. Hi. Tag, you're it. Nail Oracle. The, the questions that I just answered, I'll put in the description box. Um, I'm going to tag you. I'm going to also tag Jenny from Sunshine Nail Design. You're tagged. Um... I'm going to tag, who else? I got it. How many? I can't remember how many people she tagged. I'm going to tag Jen from Jen's Nail World. That girl, your tag, Jen. I gotcha. You've been out there for a while, but there's a lot of new girls out there who don't know you. So I'm tagging you, Jen. Tagged from Jen's Nail World. Um, so we got an older one um, who's been on YouTube a while. Two new ones. Um, I'm going to also tag, hmm, let me think, I didn't even have, I'm not prepared as you can tell. Um, we're going to tag, um, why is my head, May Nail Designs, 
I'm tagging you too. May nail designs. I'm writing these names down. So May nails, you're tagged. I hope you weren't already tagged. Um, I'm trying to tag people who weren't already tagged, and I don't think May nails was tagged. Um, and then. Of course, I'm trying to look for people on my phone here because I only got one, two, three, four. I got a tag. Um, nail art queen, you're it. I'm tagging you too. Um, so I'm tagging you guys. I am tagging Nail Oracle, Jenny from Sunshine Nail Designs. Jen from Jen's Nail World, May Nail Designs, and Rosita from Nail Art Queen. Okay, so I got five of you tagged. Um, I think that's how many people she tagged from Glamour or Glam Beauty 101. I think she tagged five people, so I just tagged five people. I got two new ones and a couple that have been out there for a while. So I think, you know, you guys should refresh because there's some new people out there who don't really, you know, they don't, they don't know you. Um, because they're new. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too much or whatever. I hope I answered them the right way, but whatever. I did the best I could. So um, I will put down in my description the questions that I was supposed to answer and then you guys um, do your tag videos. So thanks everybody for watching. You guys have a blessed evening and I love you guys. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.